Our financial focus topic for today, saving for college or retirement. And to break this down for us, we are joined by Colton Saunders with Edward Jones. Colton, thanks for joining us today. Great to be here, Mary Grace. Thanks for having me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Great to have you here speaking on this because um, I think it's important. This is something a lot of people as they get older and they have kids that are heading off to college um, or preparing for them to head off to college. They are wondering, should we be prioritizing saving for retirement? Or if we're folks who want to help our ch children out with college, should we be saving and putting money toward that? So I think it's an important um, thing to kind of discuss, Colton, and I know you have some insight on that. So how should we approach this college versus retirement issue? Sure, so, you know, if, if you're a parent, like myself, you know, we all want to help our ch children succeed in life. And, you know, I'm sure maybe one of those things is thinking, well, let's pay for their higher education or maybe college or uh, something along those lines. And I, I think that's great. I couldn't agree more. However, it can create conflicts with other financial goals. The main goal that I see creating conflicts with sometimes is retirement. Um, and so I often have folks ask, you know, should I temporarily pause our additional retirement savings to kind of beef up our college savings um, on the other side? And, you know, every situation, of course, is unique. And, and you know, you want to look at, at those as such. But oftentimes, it's not necessarily an either or scenario. Um, it often makes sense to prioritize saving retire for retirement over college. And, and I've got two reasons why, Mary Grace. So, you know, the first one is there's many ways to pay for college, right? So we have grants, scholarships, you know, students can work their way through college and kind of cash flow it. Or maybe the, the least advantageous way or our last resort might be college loans. So that's kind of the, you know, first alternatives we might look at for college. Right. So there's various ways, um, various ways to pay for college. And, and often, you know, kind of how you mentioned, you have a lot more time to pay for college and pay off college debts versus paying, saving for retirement, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And, and that kind of brings me to my second point is, you know, one of the best gifts I feel that, you know, you can give your children is to be self-sufficient in retirement. And so you could easily spend two or even three decades in retirement. So you want to make sure that this is a priority and that you have considerable financial resources to pay for all of those years. And in my opinion, you know, preparing yourself for sustainable retirement and making sure that you don't have to worry about burdening your children down the road is probably one of the big, best gifts that you can give to your children. Right. So that's why we say, hey, you know, if you can try to make sure and pri prioritize retirement, make sure you're on track there first. Um, that's generally most, m what's most important. Um, and sometimes along the way, there are ways that we can kind of go through both avenues. But I know Edward Jones is someone who can help people make the right decisions for them. How can we get in contact to discuss this or other things pertaining to financial goals? Of course, you know, there's several of us here in town. We'd be happy to help. EdwardJones.com is probably one of the best ways. Uh, hop on there. Our phone numbers, contact information. You can also send us a message from online as well. If you want to reach out to our office, our phone number is 816-232-1205. And we'd happy to, be happy to connect and, and uh, see if we can't help you. Excellent. Well, again, Colton Saunders with Edward Jones. Colton, we appreciate you joining us and breaking this down for us a little bit. Great to be here. Thank you.